be clear, be concise. Uh, don't try to justify your existence or the existence of your research. Uh, you really need to tell them why your research is relevant to something they're interested in. Find a politician who's currently interested in it and then tell them about it. The top tip for people who are writing for policymakers is to know what your own key messages are and to state them very clearly up front. So somebody can pick up the submission and after a few seconds of looking at it, they can know exactly what it's about. And, and being quite clear in the, in the opening paragraph about what the main point of the thing is. You know, you're not kind of setting up a mystery that you gradually unveil over the course of the paper. You want it to be clear right from the outset. What are you trying to say and why is it important? A second thing is to keep it short. Remember you're writing for busy people who might be dealing with a huge range of different areas. So give them something that they can read and digest quickly. When civil servants are writing for ministers, they very often use a standard structure. It varies from department to department and it varies from minister to minister, but generally it will be issue, recommendation, background. So say what you're talking about, say what it is you're suggesting the policymakers should do, and then save the background argument for later so somebody can pick it up and very quickly digest what you're urging them to do. It means really thinking about the key points that you want to get over to the policymaking community. Um, so, so really structure what you want to say. You have to really try and get rid of the jargon um, because um, that will make it not very accessible for them. Um, and also it means trying to take some of the caveats out that you would normally include if you're writing for an academic audience. Um, and also you can actually make some recommendations, you can sort of give some conclusions or some suggestions for changes. Um, definitely don't finish um, policy making writing with more research is needed. Uh, you need to try and give them an idea of, of what your research says and how they could use that information. Another thing to remember is that the policy making process is highly political with both a big and a small p and it's all about compromise between competing priorities. So the person you need to engage and communicate with is not necessarily the policy specialist in your particular area, it's the other people around them and above them who aren't necessarily thinking about these issues day in, day out. So remember you're writing for quite a wide audience, many of whom won't have the specialist background, and it's all about convincing those people of the case you're trying to make and the importance of your work. It's worth remembering that policymakers don't have access to the same kind of library resources that you have in a university. So something that's in an academic journal, particularly if it's behind a paywall, won't necessarily be very easy for them to get hold of. So you need to think of putting your material out in a format and a medium that people can find easily. That means having it on the internet, and it means having it on the internet somewhere where it can be found very easily by the main search engines. So if you've written a particularly interesting article and it's published in a learned journal, Think about writing a blog post or something that you can put online that's easy to find and think about optimising the content for search engines so that people who are looking for the key words that your research relates to will find it quickly. Well I think it's, it's really actually really difficult to generalise about this and, and a lot of this we don't know, there's not a lot of research um, about it but I think it's unlikely that it is kind of long academic articles or books. Um, so it's much more likely that policymakers use research reports or policy briefings, so um, publications that have been created specifically with them in mind that are short and accessible. Um, and, and these kind of policy briefings aren't always written by academics, so you often see them written by think tanks or charities, um, organisations that are trying to, to lobby and influence um, policymakers. And they often use their own research, but they do sometimes synthesise academic research in those publications. And what they are able to do is write in a very accessible way. They often create very beautiful publications, and they're also um, more likely to be tied into the policy cycles. Um, so those are the kind of lessons that we as academics need to take um, as well to try and make sure that, uh, that our work is used. It's also interesting to think about co-produced research. So if you're working with those types of organisations on research projects to, to um, produce um, publications that, that tap into both of those strengths.